and welcome to West Country Wanderings today. We're here in uh, Portreath, back in Cornwall. I haven't been to Cornwall for a few weeks now, so uh, we're back in Cornwall for a few days. Hope to do a couple of vlogs here. Uh, the reason we're here today is a railway themed vlog overlooking the harbour at Portreath. Portreath perhaps more famous for its uh, smallish beach, which is quite popular with surfers, uh, but it's the harbour that's the reason why we're here today. Now, the harbour is actually the start of a tramway trail which leads from Portreath right down to the south coast at Devon, which is between Truro and Falmouth. Uh, but the reason we're here today is to look at an inclined plane, which is just over there on the hillside. And the reason it's here is because Portreath has a harbour and this harbour used to import coal from South Wales, which was used in the tin mines, copper mines, in the engines which power those to drive the shafts and keep those mines free of water. So why not join me and we'll have a closer look at the Portreath Railway Inclined Plane. That's the inclined plane that we've come to look at. and You can see how high it went. The lower part you can make out the retaining walls to the right just above the uh, the houses and it disappears up into the woodland. So where did that railway go to? Well actually its ultimate location was to a place called Trezevine Mine which is outside the village of Lanna near the other side of Rudruth and uh, it also crossed over the main GWR line between Penzance and uh, Truro at a place called Poole. The reason it was important, as I say, was because Portreath's Harbour was uh, a main place for importing coal into Cornwall and it needed to get into the, uh, the mines in the West Cornwall area, particularly in the Camborne Redruth area. So we'll go and have a closer look. The railway opened in 1837 and parts of it closed at the start of the 20th century until the track was removed in 1940. The gradient of the incline is 1 in 10 and it makes its way up towards the part of Campbell and Redruth area called Poole. In fact there's a pub called the uh, Railway Inn which I think opened about uh, four years ago, recent, uh, about four years ago so it was closed, it recently reopened again. this would have been filled with coal ships coming from South Wales to bring in the vast quantities of coal that were needed to fuel the mines in the Camborne Red Ruth area to keep the steam engines power, to keep the water out of them, to keep men going up and down the shafts so, so they could access the loads to extract the tin underground. Very different scene nowadays. Obviously uh, it's leisure craft here at Portreath Harbour but it was its original purpose was as an industrial powerhouse, an industrial harbour to drive the mines that fueled the economy here in West Cornwall. I hope you enjoyed our little short bite today here in Portreath in Cornwall. Should be another short bite from Cornwall coming along soon. Please subscribe for more. Until next time, take care of yourselves. All the best. Bye bye.